So, and finally, how to use non-WordPress roots, okay, and how that does, does that work with our current implementation of Tiny Router, and actually with the combination of Tiny Router and Source, because they do combine, okay. So, how do uh, our Router and Source uh, implementations work in regarding to navigating and, and fetching data. So Rotor, uh, Rotor is very simple, as I showed you. Uh, it has state Rotor link, which is the current URL, and it has an action, actions Rotor set, where you can actually change that URL in the client side. And it has a setting, an, op an option called state, auto uh, state Rotor auto fetch, uh, which is by default is true. And what that la what that setting does, and actually I was showing you here, is that if it's on, and there is a source package, it's going to do a fetch in the source package here. So that's that's it. <laughs> so when you are navigating in the client, uh, you should be calling actions router fetch, okay? Uh, but thanks to this. Um, thanks to this option, you just have to call actions router set. And actions router set is going to call actions source fetch for you. It's it's kind of a simplification. Um, and actions router uh, actions source fetch is the one uh, is from the source package. Actually, the source package doesn't know that there is a router that a router exists. It just uh, it has a, a, an array of handlers uh, in, in libraries and it uses that to do some fetches for that it, it, for that URL. It tries to match uh, the pattern of the URL with a handler and picks the handler, executes the handler and then updates the state with the new information. We choose to use a kind of two-layer um, data structure and uh, we have what we call data objects which are, which are stored in state source data because uh, everything is stored in the state and everything is normalized and they can be like normal pages like um, uh, archives and so on and they will have flags and other properties relevant to them they are, can also be now uh, 301 redirections uh, 404s 500s and so on so this is the information of uh, that answers the question what is in this URL. Okay, and after that you can go pick the entity or from uh, also the, the state source, but from the entity's props uh, that are normalized, so they are not repeated over and over. And yeah, th that that's it. So uh, the question is how. So if you want to navigate to another page, let's call uh, login for example, how how do we do that, right? We, we want to add a login page and this is not going to be uh, in WordPress and maybe it doesn't have, a f it doesn't need a fetch because it's simply, it's going to be simply in React. Okay, how can you do that uh, today? So, first if you go here and uh, add a new um, um, component to the switch and you say for example data root equals uh, login okay let's let's do this and login and then you do client side navigation here so you do action actions there's something wrong. Actions. Let's refresh. Oops. You do actions router set. Okay. And say, okay, let's go to login. Okay. As you can see, there was a loader and then we load login. Login. And if you actually, uh, we are here, we are, we are seeing the login page because uh, here in the 
in the theme, we choose to display a login message. But if we actually go to state source data, and actually we can get login here, the information for login, we're going to see that this is a 404 actually because login doesn't exist and we and, and we show actually a, a, the loader there because uh, source was was fetching that because uh, th source uh, don't know anything about the theme and so on it was like okay someone told me to fetch login and I did and it's a 404 here here it is and if you look at the login page is a 404, we're, we're, but we're not getting to page error because uh, we are doing the navigation before. So it's, if, it's, if this is login, okay, let's uh, go there. What we can do uh, is that we're going to say, we're going to pre-populate state source data. That's one way we, we could do uh, the login here. And we're going to say, uh, because if um, state source, so uh, the source package doesn't refetch something if it's already been fetched so for example if we go to the home and then we go to the login again there is no uh, the, the information is already on the uh, state so it's ready through so it won't refetch again so what we can do is we can populate the state um, we're let's populate the state in the theme but for example if you are doing so we are this this is so uh, here uh, you could add for example we, we're gonna add a login page here in the theme but maybe it would be it would be it would make more sense if you were creating an auth package for example so auth something to do that there and declare that there's gonna be a login page um, in your auth package uh, so this should not usually go into your theme unless it's a specific theme. I mean, wherever you declare those things, it has to make sense with the whole thing. So if you're declaring a login here page in your theme and everyone everyone that installs your themes that wants to use your theme will have this login page here. So this is source data and here let's do a login page and we're gonna say is login true okay we're gonna and is ready also true so we don't refetch and that's it that should work uh, so if I refresh let's go here I refresh this and we go to the login is not going to do the, the fetch Okay, and actually you could come here and instead of data root, you could say data is login, okay, and it should work as well. This is the way we kind of recommend uh, doing uh, non-WordPress routes, okay, so boom. Um, you can also, this is one way, and you can also, if there's, uh, if it's more complex, you could also create a handler for this, okay? So, this is one way, and the second way would be to create a handler. No, handler is for source, okay, handlers, and we're going to add a handler, which is going to have a pattern, for example, users, uh, with an ID here and the action that we're gonna run is an action that's gonna take the state the link and the params okay uh, what we are gonna do is we're not gonna here it could be an async function and you could do a fetch request to some backend it doesn't have to be WordPress it could be it, it can be anything it's just that it happens that we have the, the handlers that come by default with WP source um, fetch from WordPress but you could create multiple uh, source packages uh, and and create other handlers for other type of URLs so in this case for example 
uh, we're, I, I'm not gonna do any fits but we are gonna populate state source data of link and we're gonna say this is similar to the thing this is, is user is gonna be true and ID is gonna be params ID and actually okay and this is it now if we navigate to users well uh, let's add here is user and user ID uh, this is going to be data ID so now if we can navigate to some user and some ID this is the pattern that's going to match uh, and that's that's what's gonna going to happen so we come here and we go to users one two three and there you go there was no load there and now the data is populated with the data ID and the routing is working and so on it's true that this um, so th this is the way it works and it works uh, the, the thing about handlers is that uh, they are uh, implemented so they work both in server-side rendering and client-side rendering so if you do server-side rendering it works if you do client side rendering it also works it it it, it, util, it it uses the same code for both um, places and the thing is that yeah uh, source is more prepared for that for to work with WordPress um, but that doesn't mean that it cannot work and actually this is our first implementation of source <laughs> this is the version one of source we already have ideas for the version two and we want to uh, work on that later this year because um, there are some things that we want to change uh, that we think that we can improve and actually maybe there is a good opportunity there to create something that is uh, I don't know it, it, it's more user friendly for to work with non WordPress URLs but right now you can do it you can do it that way as I showed you Thank you.